Hey you guys, welcome to today's video. I am going to start a new series on my channel because I'm obsessed with foundation, you guys are obsessed with foundation, everyone on the internet is doing Foundation Friday, so I'm not doing that because Bargain of the Week is my Friday video. I am doing Foundation Featured. How about that? And I don't know what day of the week it's going to be yet. Today's Thursday, or this video is going up Thursday. Maybe it'll be Thursday. We'll see. Okay, so every time there's a new foundation, almost every time there's a new foundation, I pretty much buy it because I'm addicted to finding my holy grail. I've come close. I have some favorites um, that I've shared with you guys in the past, but I figured every time there's a new foundation and I review it, how about I just you know, focus on it and that way we can talk about foundation because you guys like it as much as I do. So today's first foundation featured is going to be the Era Everyday Airbrush Makeup. Tati did this on her channel. I didn't really see it anywhere else, but she loved it. I am just fascinated by airbrush makeup. I love, I love setting sprays. I love hydrating sprays. <laughs> I love to spray my face. So I'm like, I'm gonna get another spray makeup. And I have tried the Dior Air Flash, which is pretty phenomenal to be honest with you, but it's in the $60 range, it's very expensive. Um, this is very expensive too, in my opinion. This is the small size, I think this can is $38 or $40 and the large can is like $55. Um, and then for fun, I've got this Sally Hansen airbrush makeup. Right, lightweight spray foundation, found it at Walmart. So I figured, hey, let's put them to the test. So I am wearing the products right now, but I'm gonna show you how I applied them and then at the end, my final thoughts. So thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy this new feature and series and I will uh, be right back, naked face ready to put on makeup that I have makeup on. I don't, I'm just gonna let the edit the screen. Okay, I am in my bathrobe with my hair in a turban, no makeup on, and I am going to dive into this era airbrush makeup. But I'm gonna do one side of my face with this Sally Hansen makeup I got at Walmart because this is $9 and this is 40 or something. It's expensive. <laughs> so I am not messing around with getting this on anything. In fact, I'm gonna move my candle just because I don't know why spraying things, especially aerosol, even though this probably has no like harmful blah, blah, blahs, CD, CBs, doodads, but um, VOCs, it says right here on the label. No harmful VOCs. That's great, but I'm still going to take precautions. Okay, so this shade is Classic Ivory 120. You get one ounce. This shade is, look, it's something, and you get 1.5 ounces, and this was, I got this in a set together with the primer and it was $38 for the two, $50 for the two. I will double check that, I am very sorry. Okay, I am still going to put a towel around me. Look, at, I'm all oiled up from my Paula's Choice. I used my Clarisonic um, Uplift Massager. I'm like, you know, so I'm like, oh, look at me, I'm just so, so firm. I'm going to use this primer all over my face. I don't care if that's cheating. I don't have a spray on primer for the Sally Hansen. So we're just going to play equal sides of the face. Here we go. Oh boy. It smells like aerosol. It smells that spray makeup smell. <laughs> So I did um, microplane my face, der dermaplane, microplane, you know, I shaved my face um, because I feel like whenever you spray on makeup, it really leaves 
all the little hairs just gather the product and they're like, you look like a, a dewy morning, like blades of grass with dew drops on them. I'm so sorry, I had to take a swig of coffee. Side note, what is it with YouTubers and their frickin' Fiji water that they're drinking in their videos? Is there, does Fiji have a contract with these people? What is it, is it just because they're so fancy, they need only Fiji? I'm, I'm shaking this up really well. I don't hear a shake, a little bead in there, so, okay. By the way, I ordered this online. You can get it at some beauty supply stores, but I was like, I'm just gonna order it. Um, okay, here we go. Huh, hang on. Oh boy. Ah, I lost, where's my mirror? Okay. I just have a sponge, it's not even damp. I'm just kind of pressing, not, I mean, I am so lightly tapping my face. It looks funny on the eyelashes and the eyebrows. Okay, okay. It's actually less coverage than I thought it would be, but it's nice. It went on, it's sprayed on nicely. There's no big globs of liquid. It did, I mean, you have to cover your hair and stuff, you just do. There's nothing, there's no way around that. All right, let's do Sally Hansen. Sally Hansen. Boy, I do not like the smell. Huh. That actually went on lighter than I thought. And it doesn't smell as bad. Okay, there, now we got more coverage. I did, about a year ago, at least a year ago, I did compare the Sephora spray foundation to the Dior Air Flash. So I can, I can link that video. A lot of times people take spray foundations and they spray their brush or their sponge and what's the point? If I wanted to do that, I'd just get a foundation out of a bottle. I wanna spray stuff on my face. Okay, so this side sprayed surprisingly well too. The shade is slightly like not the same as this shade, but that's, I can still make them both work. Um, it's hard to just kind of guess. Like I guessed basically in Walmart based on the number on the can. And then with the other one, with the Era foundation, I just basically guessed. They have a little bit of a chart to help you. Okay, I'm gonna do a little more right there. I am gonna do a couple more spots. Wow, this one's really dewy, but I think it's gonna dry down. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna throw it across my table. Okay. God. Ugh. I don't, I'm not trying to change the, the finish on it with my sponge. I'm basically just kind of pre tapping it into my pores because it seems to just sort of sit on the skin and it's taking longer to dry. So I'm kind of just speeding the process. Think of it that way. Okay. Oops, don't rub. Don't rub. It's surprisingly dewy and it's surprisingly even. Um. Hmm. We shall see, look at my turban. <laughs> okay. I am going to put on some, I'm gonna give this like a minute. I'm just gonna let it sit on my face. I'm gonna put my eyeshadow on and then I'm gonna come back but I won't do anything more with my face. I'm just gonna do my eyes, okay? Yeah. I'm gonna put some lip plumper on. Mm. 
Okay. Okay, so all I did was eyeshadow and I used my Anastasia Ro Modern Renaissance palette, brows and mascara. And I, I did do concealer, but <laughs> I feel like, why does it not look like I'm wearing concealer? So I definitely need to powder. Um, I thought it would dry down more, it hasn't. Um, I'm gonna do some RCMA here. Just a light dusting, nothing crazy. Like, I'm just gonna kind of set the powder on with a big fluffy brush. You guys remember this brush? It's my It Cosmetics dupe I found on Amazon. Is it Amazon or eBay? I can't tell really either side if there is a difference. More stuff I'm dropping. Maybe the arrow side is a little bit smoother and then the Sally Hansen side is a little more patchy. I don't know. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to finish my face. I'm gonna dry my hair for you guys and get dressed and then come back and give you my final thoughts. Okay. Okay, I am back now. Thankfully, no more turban, no more bathrobe. <laughs> and you can tell my hair is freshly washed because it's straight. So anytime you see my hair curly, I mean, I might curl my hair the day I wash it, but usually it's the next day. So I have like my little signals for you are like, oh, look, Rebecca just washed her hair because it's sleek and straight. And oh, look, Rebecca curled her hair because she didn't feel like washing it. Anyway, who cares, right? So um, I've got all my makeup on and oh, my forehead is looking kind of... Would you say there's a lot of bronzer right there? So, uh, like, I've pulled my face together and I think I look okay, but it does not feel like a good face day. I am going to be totally honest with you guys and just say skip them both. Um, I wanted to love this foundation. Um, I saw Tati use it on her channel and she loved it. Um, and then I thought, what the heck, you know, I didn't really have any type of, oh gosh, I hope I love this foundation. But I just, I honestly don't feel there's much difference. If a few hours from now, things start breaking down and, you know, just things change or oxidize on my skin, I'll put it down below in the description box. I'll let you know. But at this point in time, I can't really tell the difference of either side of my face. Um, both sides feel like a lot of makeup. Um, they did not dry down. It took a lot of powder. Um, my face doesn't feel comfortable. And I also think it irritated my eyes. So even though I didn't spray my eyes, whatever it got on my lashes or kind of right underneath here, um, my eyes are very watery today. And that's unusual. Um, Concealer did not like this foundation. I used my Amazing Cosmetics Illuminate Concealer. I don't know if this is new or I think it's been out. Um, they sent it to me in a PR package and I like it. It's a pretty heavy duty concealer, but um, I always set it with either my Wonder 2 powder or my RCMA powder. And I've been wearing it with like my Makeup Atelier and my Giorgio Armani skin fabric, power fabric, and it works wonderfully. And then today I put it on and everything just clumped up. It was really strange. So there obviously is some kind of connection with whatever ingredients like are incompatible between the, you know, so, and so I powdered, I have my Physician's Formula bronzer on, I've got some e.l.f. highlighter, I've got some Wet n' Wild 
uh, blush and but I just I just I'm not feeling it you guys I am not happy with this for the amount of money this product is uh no get the get the Armani get the makeup atelier get get Chanel get just get something else I mean yes would it be awesome if a product you could just spray on your face and go um, I don't think we're there yet. I really don't. If uh, you're a very dry skin, maybe this works for you. Maybe, you know, every time I say I don't like something, I'm always kind of trying to come up with excuses to why I could change my mind or maybe I should try it again if I would like it a different time. But when I love something, I'm always like, I love it, hands down, bye bye, mic drop, see you later. Um, for whatever reason, I'm always just trying to kind of apologize for something I don't like. And like, this wasn't bad. Um, it really wasn't that bad. It was a weird color. Nothing really is matching, I suppose. I don't, I don't even know. I feel very yellow. So I'm just going to say skip it. You know, I mean, I think it's better for me to just say don't bother than go run out and buy it because it's so fabulous. Um, yeah, I don't think you're missing out if you don't get this foundation. So there you are. Kind of a dud. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. Please subscribe. Please share. Please, I don't know, send me cookies. No, it's okay. I'm on a diet-ish. I appreciate you watching and I will see you next time. Bye.